This is stock number 21J68. We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. And today I'm excited to show you this brand new 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave in Snazberry Pearl Coat. This truck has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor. Pumps out 285 horsepower. It's going to get you 22 miles per gallon on the highway. 17 city for an average of 19 miles per gallon. This truck does have the tow package on it. It can tow up to 6,000 pounds. And it has the Mojave trim level on it, which gives you a bunch of extras to um, do desert off-roading stuff with. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or a smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks, the styling, the color, and the options of the vehicle before seeing it in person. And if you'd like to check out all the photos on this Mojave, in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website. Click that and check us out there. Now the first thing to note with the Mojave package is the lettering on the side of the hood there with the orange trim, the desert rated badge. This is the only desert rated badge on the Jeep lineup and um, it also comes with the orange outline Jeep logo on the side there. Snazberry Pearl Coat is a new color for 2021 and you get the color match top here. You get the color match fenders as well. This one comes with Falcon Wild Peak AT3W all-terrain tires. They are LT285 70R17s. And they're going to come with the 17-inch painted and polished aluminum rims. Um, you even have tread on the sidewall here. So if you lower the air pressure, you'd even have a little bit of tread on the sidewall. Um, great for off-roading. In here you have the two and a half inch internal bypass shocks and they are Fox shocks of course. This does have a one inch lift on it. It's actually, it has 11.6 six inches of ground clearance which is a half inch higher than the Rubicon uh, brother to the Mojave so it's the tallest gladiator you can buy from the factory stock. And then it has the shocks and the front bumpers, so the jounce bumpers and everything. Also, you get this skid plate here, and it's all part of the off-road capabilities in the desert in mine. Now, this one has the satin black grille. It also has the LED lighting group, which is a very nice option to have on these Wranglers and Gladiators. You get the orange tow hooks of course they are powder coated and you do get LED fog lamps as well. You get the center air intake which is up high to kind of keep it out of the sand when you're in the desert. You also get the rock rails on the vehicle. We'll take a look at the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this at any point. I'm not going to go through everything, but just some of the main points on here. So you can see it is a 21 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. And Snazberry Pearl Coat is the color. 3.6 liter, 8-speed automatic transmission. You do get the Jeep Wave uh, membership standard. You can see it comes with the backup camera, the Fox 2.5 performance internal bypass shocks. Um, hydro jounce bumpers, the true lock rear axle, and then the heavy duty Dana front and rear uh, 44 wide axles as well, which is nice for off roading because they're solid axles and um, works well in the desert. 410 axle ratio and the 33 inch tires, the command track part time four wheel drive system, the fuel tank skid plate the transfer case skid plate, the front bumper skid plate, and the terrain specific off-road plus mode, which will actually change your shift points and your throttle um, for off-roading. And then you have your 
seven and four pin wiring harness, electronics trailer sway control, Torx toolkit, push button start, selectable tire fill alert, and all that good stuff there. So the optional equipment on this vehicle is the Snazberry Pro Coat 245 leather trim seats, which is $15.95, and then the customer preferred package 24D, which gives you the tow package, which is $350, um, gives you the receiver hitch and trailer hitch zoom. Cold Weather Group gives you the heated seats and heated steering wheel as well as the remote start system, that LED lighting group, $12.95, 8.4 and premium audio group, which is $18.95, which gives you the nav, off-road info pages, Alpine premium audio, five-year Sirius XM travel link service, Sirius XM traffic plus with five-year subscription, and automatic dimming rearview mirror. Also has the active safety group, which gives you blind spot and cross path detection, which is $8.95. The eight speed automatic transmission is $2,000. And remote proximity keyless entry is $545, which is the enter and go system. Color match hardtops, $23.95. Satin black grill is $195. And the color match fenders are $695. The wireless Bluetooth speaker is $295. And the special rims are $995. Total MSRP on this. Gladiator is $59,780. If you want to get your summit price, in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to our website. Click that and check us out there to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Gladiator. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain warranty on this vehicle. There are your miles per gallon, and then your safety ratings four and five stars for front crash, and it's not rated for anything else but rollover, which is three. So we're going to get into the interior in just a little bit. I do want to show you as long as we're on this side of the vehicle. I got the seat back down here so I can show you that wireless speaker. So it's located back here. It actually plugs in back here to charge. To get it out, you just kind of pull that strap. And then you can sync it with your Bluetooth device and then play songs and stuff off of it. Have it in the back, have it, you know, wherever you are and need music. So that's pretty cool. And it just kind of snaps back in there. So I thought I'd show you that as long as we are back here. And then that backrest also locks. So if you got the top off, you can not worry about people stealing your Bluetooth speaker or whatever you have stored back there. I do like that they put the uh, rock guards, like the 3M tape, on the front of the back fenders so that they don't get all rock chipped up when you're flying through the desert. You have your internal bypass shocks back here as well. And we'll just take a look at the underbody of this truck and all the hardware that goes into it. Everything's very heavy duty underneath here. We'll see if we can see some of those skid plates yeah, it's pretty much all skid plated up to protect all the vital stuff underneath your truck, including those rock rails there. This one does have the towing package and it can tow up to 6,000 pounds. LED tail lamps, has the shock down assist tailgate. You do get the LED bed lighting back here. Those turn on with your cargo lamps. And you'll see it's even got some spots for your dirt bike tires if you're hauling your dirt bikes. And I do believe you can prop this tailgate up just a little bit by putting these behind here. And then that tailgate will sit up like that. So if you are hauling bikes or something, the tires you know, and for whatever reason your strap comes undone or something or it gets a little bit loose, your bike's not going to roll out of the truck. And the tailgate kind of sits like that. It's real sturdy. So that's kind of cool. One of the Easter eggs that a lot of people don't really know about on the Gladiators is the 419, Hart 419 right there. And it's kind of a mystery to most people. It's actually the area code for to Toledo, Ohio, where these are made. So kind of a neat little 
hidden gem there. Now this one's going to come with the standard fuel fill. It does not have the capless fuel fill. And uh, Snazberry is a really good looking color. It's actually Delmonico red if you saw it on the Rams. Jeep calls it red velvet. Um, I'm trying to think of the other name that they call it. I'm not sure. Oh, Octane Red in the uh, Dodge lineup is also this color. PRV is the paint code. Inside the Mojave package gives you the black leather seats. Well, you had to add the leather group to get the black leather seats, but you get the orange stitching as well as the Mojave stitched orange backrest. Everything is or orange accented, I should say. And uh, even the steering wheel, the air vent trim, the doors are all stitched in orange as well. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors, auto headlamps, and everything inside is basically, you know, a normal Gladiator besides the orange accents. Driver seat height adjuster, lumbar, factory floor mats, all that good stuff. It does come with the 7 inch LCD display. You get the Jeep animation to begin there. And uh, digital speedometer, you can do a compass, temperature, all that good stuff in the corners and you can change those out uh, pretty easy. Get the thumb pads on the steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. It's a really a nice uh, soft touch leather. You get the leather wrap dash, the kind of granite crystal looking dash trim as well. That's really nice. And it's actually, this is like kind of a rough finish to it. Some of them are like satin smooth. This one's kind of almost like sandpaper. It's kind of neat. Um, you get the 8.44C radio with AM, FM, Sirius XM radio capabilities. Of course, it has a factory navigation system on it. You also get your uh, climate controls, including your heated seats and heated steering wheel buttons. You have that backup camera there. Now, that's an HD backup camera, which I love that Jeep did on the Gladiators and the Wranglers. Um, and you also get that center line, which lines right up with your receiver hitch. And when you get really close to your boat or your trailer or your camper or whatever you're hauling, press that button right there and you're going to go right over that receiver hitch so that uh, you can get hooked up to your trailer or camper the first time, every time without any help. So that's pretty cool there too. And then you get all the different apps, including the off-road pages, which is a really cool system. It does take a second for that to load, but there's always some cool animation. And then it's got a little sane... Um, maybe lost but never stuck on this one uh, so that's kind of cool you get your latitude longitude your altitude there if you have your rear axle locked or unlocked right now it is unlocked you have your different steering angles your transfer case you have your accessory gauges here including your coolant oil battery voltage trans temp oil temp or oil pressure I should say and then you have your pitch and roll which would be very helpful in the desert if you're uh, off-roading and stuff like that just to see how far you're tipped or descending or ascending kind of good information to know so really cool stuff there and then the other thing that you get is a projection manager where you can project your cell phone to the screen via android auto or apple carplay we actually did a demo on android auto if you want to check that out it's in the upper right hand part of the screen but you can project your uh cell phone to the screen so if you have a different navigation system such as Waze or Google Maps you can project it to the screen and use that it's kind of cool push button start you have your climate controls down here start stop capabilities stability control your select speed crawl control um, which is kind of a cool system and then you have your AUGS USB and USB C jacks power windows you got your axle locker uh, for rear only and you can actually lock it up to 50 miles per hour in four-wheel drive low, um, which is better than the Rubicon. The Rubicon, the way it's geared, you can only do 30 miles per hour in four-wheel drive low. In this vehicle, you can go up to 50. I believe it's a 272 gear in this one, as opposed to the 4.0 gears in the Rubicon. So that's what gives you that extra 20 miles per hour that you can do in four-wheel drive low. And then off-road, mode plus um, you can actually press that and it'll change your shift points your throttle um, to adapt to the off-roading in the desert 
very cool stuff lots of very technical stuff that you could get into with this vehicle you get the little Jeep gladiator on the top there remote start keyless entry you get the switchblade style key which is pretty cool um, definitely a chunky key fob you always know which key you have in your pocket you also get a little Jeep climbing up your window there another Easter egg the crushed eggshell finish roof quick releases just like the Wranglers home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems you get an assist and SOS button and that auto dimming mirror I'm gonna take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll do one more final walk around here you do get a front license plate holder uh, back storage area or back seats you get the latch child safety system the manual sliding rear window uh, with the built-in rear defrost like I said before these headrests do fold down for better visibility and these seats do fold down they lock with your ignition key right there so that you can put <clears throat> valuables back here when you have the top off and they're not going to get swiped on you and then there is storage underneath these seats as well and this is where you put all your roof bolts and door hinge bolts um, for convenient holding back here you get a 115 volt 400 watt plug-in two USBs two USB C's and power windows controls and these seats um, go down like that there's no lever or anything that locks them into place and you do get the child safety locks I wanted to turn all the lights on so you could see the LED lighting and the LED license plate lights and the LED tail lamps there and we'll do one more final walk around around the front here and I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you will have gotten a really good idea of the overall look styling um, color of the vehicle Snazberry really good looking love those LED headlamps and fog lights and running lights and you get the LED running lights in the fenders as well and to see more pictures of this Gladiator or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Gladiators, you name it, we got it. Go to our website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left a link to more Gladiator videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom, a link to this vehicle on our website. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave in Snazberry Pearl Code. Thanks again for checking out the video.